Hello, hello, and welcome to my grungy brown basement with my matching brown radiator. Um, what a spot, eh? I told you if you missed like some of the last videos, I forget if it was last week or the week before, but I was saying it's going to be a bit of like a where's Waldo, where you just don't know where in my house I'm going to be filming, what house I'm going to be filming in. Um, I'm in the basement of the house we live in right now. And this house is a uh, very much a fixer upper. So we're dark and dungy, but I'm not held hostage. I'm here on my own will. We are going to do a one dumbbell and band workout. So I would go like a little heavier with your dumbbell today. Uh, we have two circuits. We have like our main circuit is going to be all about inner thighs and glutes. So you can definitely use like a 15, a 17, a 20, something like that. Um, and then we are doing a little like shoulder back finisher, which you're probably going to want more like a 10, 12, 15, something in that family. Let's get you warm and then we'll get into it. So let's start with some jumping jacks, arms all the way up and down. You can jump it if you are good with high impact. Why is there something on my arm? Five more seconds here. Keep going. We're just going to straighten out my mouth a little bit. And let's go into some side lunges. So stay nice and wide. Then one knee, tap the opposite foot. You guys know, I hate when you can feel a hair on you. You can't get it off. And because I'm in a basement, I just assume everything is fires. <laughs> let's stay low and let's shift from one side to the next, popping up on that heel. So a little harder side lunge, getting those inner thighs and those glutes warmed up. Come on up. Keep the toes pointed out. Nice wide stance. Let's do some plies. Down and up. Knees are following the line of the toes. So we're just getting like a really awesome inner thigh stretch. Three, two, one. Let's do some curtsy lunges. Cross it back. Drive the knee. You can touch the floor if you've got that mobility. Your belly's making it a little bit hard <laughs> to get all the way down there these days. But we have both knees bending, hips facing forward. And we just want to get like that awesome outer glute stretch. Let's do some squats. Feet shoulder width apart or a little bit wider. Sit back on your heels. Drop your butt. Chest is nice and high. We're getting low. In three, two, one, butt kick. So jog it if you're going high impact. Otherwise, step up with me, but we're bringing those heels right up high. So you get that quad stretch. Keep going. We have five. In three, two, one. Give me a quad stretch. Grab your foot. Bring it up to your butt. Two or three seconds. Then switch. Same thing on the other side. Little stretch. Little test of that balance. Keep it moving. In three, two, one. Give me some side bends and twists. So big side bendy tway. And then a twisty tway rotating the upper body. Keep going through that combo. Stretch out the obliques, your back. In three, two, one. Give me some arm circles. Big circles back. Loosen up the shoulders. And you do have that shoulder and back finisher. So we want to get the upper body ready. Give me some open and hugs. Feeling that squeeze in between your shoulder blades as you pull the arms back. In three, two, one, inchworms. We're just gonna do a couple inchworms. Just kind of hello to the hamstrings, hello to the abs. On this one, let's stay down there. Plank, deep lunge and reach. So big step forward, twisting reach towards that front leg, then back to your plank, over to the other side for the same thing. Nice big rotation, dropping the hips. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. Press back into downward dog. <coughs> Excuse me. Nice stretch along the back of your legs. And then take one knee forward. Let's sit or lay into pigeon. So we're just going to hang out, stretch with the glutes. You can kind of rock your hips from side to side. And then tuck that back toe back into downward dog and over to the other side for the same thing. Kind of rock your hips. Play around with that position. Stretch out those glutes. And then come to hands and knees, cat to cow. So arch the back, look at the ceiling, round the back, 
Look at the legs. From here, let's go into child's pose. We're not going to do cobra. We're just going to do child's pose. And we're going to walk the hands from one side, getting a nice shoulder stretch. As soon as you get there, walk it on over to the other side. Back and forth, getting that shoulder stretch. And then from here, let's tuck the toes one more time into the outward dog. Walk the hands and feet together. Gentle bend in the knees, roll it on up, shake it out. We should be nice and warm. Grab your weights. All right, so like I said, one like medium to heavy dumbbell and one band. Keep the band handy because we're going to use that in that first circuit and maybe keep one or two dumbbells handy. So I'm going to start nice and heavy with like a 15 and we're going to do alternating um, we're going to be working for like one minute at a time. Yes. Then we'll rest. We're going to go through this whole circuit a few times and the rest is going to get shorter each time. Sometimes I will walk you through what's coming so that you know, because it's going to be at least more than one move, at least two moves, sometimes up to like four moves in a row. Um, but for this first one, you can kind of just follow along. But first we're going to be doing plie with alternating heel lock. So it's hard to see, but I'm pressing into my toe, lifting my heel like very subtly off the ground. And I'm going to do a plie here, see how my heel gets even higher. Then I come up and I switch to the other side for the same thing. It gets you a deeper plie, so you feel even more in your thighs and it gives you a little bit of cast as well. So we're going to hold the dumbbell either here or down, whatever's comfy for you. And we're going to be there for 20 seconds. Three, two, one, go for it. So even though we're kind of like um, doing uneven moves, like we're lifting one heel at a time, I still want you to be nice and centered in that plie. Five more seconds and we're gonna stay on one side. Three, two, one. Stay on one side, pulse at the bottom. Little pulses, we're gonna be here for 10 seconds then we'll come up and over to the other side. In three, two, one, bring it up, switch sides. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Keep going for five more seconds, then both heels down, regular plies in three, two, one, bring it up, both heels down, down and up, regular plies. So again, you can be holding the dumbbell just like I am, or you could be holding it down if this is comfier for you. If you're finding your knees are traveling way past your toes, or you're losing your balance, adjust that stance. Three, two, one and rest. Okay, shake it out. We're gonna go into alternating side lunges, stepping out. So I'm gonna hold the dumbbell in the hand of the opposite foot. So whatever foot is stepping out, the other hand holds it. We step out, we switch hands. Step out, we switch hands. Move number two is going to be hard side lunges like we did in the warm up, staying low. We still have eight seconds. Here we go in five, three, two, one. So step it out, side lunge, bring it in, switching hands. Big step out, bending that knee of the moving leg. And I'm just bringing my dumbbell up because of my belly. So don't worry, like if you're just holding it down, I'm just protecting the belly, making sure I don't slam a dumbbell into it. Almost there. In 15 seconds, we're gonna hold it goblet style. Or you can always go body weight. And we're going to do hard side lunges, staying low the whole time. In five, three, two, one. So stay wide, get low, stay low as you shift from side to side. Now, if this is not comfy, if it's comfy, keep going. If it's not, take it out or support. Okay, those are your modifications seven seconds, and you can be at a height that is comfy for you, as low as you can go with good form. Three, two, one, and rest. All right, move that dumbbell, put that band on, hide an extra heavy band, just above your knees. We are gonna do a monster walk, forward and back. So I want you to find a squat stance, bend the knees, hinge forward a little bit so your butt's sticking out, and we're gonna take like, four or five, whatever you have space for, steps forward and back, staying in that position. In three, two, one. <clears throat> so find that position, 
and then just walk it forward. So the key here is keeping your, um, the wig between your legs. So we don't wanna come in and out, in and out with those legs like this. No, we wanna keep that distance between those legs the whole time. And I'm like this, so I can feel that butt whoo, burning back and forth. In 10 seconds, we're gonna hold this position and we're gonna do little taps with one foot, one to the side and one to the back diagonal. In three, two, stay here, tap side, back diagonal. I'm coming back to home base between each one. I'm in that demi squat still, so my supporting leg is bent. Switch sides, side, diagonal back, side, diagonal back. So I'm hitting that back corner, side, diagonal back, side, and rest. All right, shake it out. Next two, we're gonna do a squat, but at the bottom of the squat, I want you to do four pulses and then hold the bottom and do four knees out. So for the knees out, you can literally like rock to the sides of your foot. If that's not comfy, just make it a little bit smaller. Move two, what are we doing? Squat side steps. So squat, stepping side to side, shaking low. Here we go. In three, two, one. So pulse, two, three, four, knees, two, don't rush it, three, four. Then you can come up and go back down. Four pulses, knees out, 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 out. I'm rocking like right to the outside of my feet. I can feel my outer glutes like crazy on both of those moves. 15 more seconds to go. Really fight that band. If you're not feeling it or if that band is moving a lot on you, if it's rolling up, it usually means that band is too light. You need more resistance. In three, two, one, stay low. Squat side steps. So because we have the band and we want to keep the tension, we don't want the band to fall down our legs, we're not going to come all the way in. We're going to keep fighting that band to like a narrow squat stance. Then super wide step, trying to stay at that same level the whole time. Five seconds. Three, two, one, rest. All right, we're coming down on the floor, hands and knees. Just make sure you have something real cushiony and comfy under you, cushiony mat, or like maybe put a little towel or something under your knees. First move, alternating fire hydrants. Hands and knees, you're gonna open up one knee, the foot travels with it, then we go right into the other side. Move two, seated squats. Feet close together, knees apart, and we're just gonna squeeze the glutes, push the hips forward and come up and down. Here we go. Three, two, one, fire hydrants. Alternating fire hydrants. I think we can tell why they're called fire hydrants. <laughs> it's because it's like a dog peeing on a fire hydrant, lifting your leg, <laughs> have a little pee. But if you are someone who pees a little bit while you work out, that is common, but it is not normal. And you should see a pelvic floor physio because they can help. Three, two, one, seated squats, let's go. Drive it up. Now I need you to squeeze those glutes together like crazy. Push those hips forward, really work for it. Don't just go through the motions. You're here to put in that work. We wanna make this workout count. We wanna get every inch out of these moves. 10 more seconds, then we get to rest. We're almost done with round one, have three rounds. So we're flying. Three, two, one, and rest. Okay, this next one is gonna be all you guys because I can't lay on my stomach. So pretend I am laying, but I'm gonna stand. On your belly, arms and legs extended, nice and long, so you're laying flat on your belly. You're gonna squeeze your glutes and your back to lift your arms and your legs off the floor. Hold that position, take your legs out wider four times, fighting that band. Once you get through the fourth rep, lay it down, Come back up, do it again. Ready, set, let's go. So lift off the floor, legs out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in. Then lay down, come back up again. So we squeeze, belly stays connected to the floor, but we lift kind of that upper body and the legs off for those four legs out. You're halfway through it. 20 seconds down, 20 left, keep going. Four legs out, then you can come down. In 15 seconds, we're gonna press up into a plank position, hands and toes, we're gonna jump the feet out and in. 
If you want, if you want low impact, we're gonna step it. Five seconds. Here we go. One more time. You got it. three, two, one. Press up into a plank. Jump your feet out and in, or tap one foot at a time out and in. We're just gonna keep doing that for the whole twenty seconds. We're plank jacks. So plank position. Jump or step the feet out wide and back in. Five more seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. Okay, so we can take this band off for a second. Round one is done. Now we're into round two of three. So now you kind of know what's coming. Exact same moves. All that we're doing is shortening the rest just in between the sections. So like the standing section, the um, band section, and the floor section, those rests in between each move will get shorter, but the rest in between the sections does not, if that makes sense. Here we go. Yay, on and off in three, two, one. Nice wide, lift a heel, down and up. Lift a heel, down and up. So pelvis stays the same. We're just dropping straight down and up. Seven more seconds, then we're gonna stay on one leg. We're gonna pulse it up. In three, two, one, one leg off. Pulse, stay at the bottom, little tiny pulses. Keep going, I'm gonna show you from the side. So we're nice and tall, neutral spine. Switch sides, up, take the other heel up. Little pulse, little pulse. Five more seconds, keep going, I'm gonna switch back right. And come up, both heels down, plies, down and up. So it's different than a squat, because A, we're wider, and our toes are more turned out, but also our chest is higher. We don't bend over, we don't hinge as much. Eight more seconds. We're getting so much work to the inner thighs, a little bit to the bottom of the glutes. Three, two, one, and rest. All right, next up is going to be our stepping out side lunges, alternating legs, and then into our hard side lunges. Five seconds, here we go. In three, two, one. Step it out, bring it in. So bringing that dumbbell to the opposite foot, Ideally, we're coming down like close to the floor, like right by that foot, the inside of the foot, but if that's too much, you can go knee. Maybe if you're feeling some back pain by going too low, maybe we're getting some rounding, some arching, then stay a little taller. Almost done, 15 seconds. In 10 seconds, we're going into hard side lunges. In seven, in five, in three, two, one. So stay low, get low, shift from side to side. Only 20 seconds. Now you can probably get a lot lower than me. With the dumbbell, plus the weight of the belly, it really like wants to pull forward. So I'm fighting that urge and I'm staying up nice and tall. Three, two, one, and rest. On to your band. You know what, this time let's try for the monster walk just above the ankles. For those first couple moves, we'll do that. So just above the ankles, we're gonna walk forward and backwards, little bend, little hinge, fighting that band, keeping that like same width so it looks like a monster. In five, three, two, one, let's go. Find that position, little zombie walk, whatever you have space for. So like if you've got like a long room going on, give yourself 10 steps forward, 10 steps back. If you've got a shorter space, if you're just going like the length of your mat like me, maybe it's like five steps, maybe you don't have that much space. Maybe you're doing two steps forward, two back, whatever it is, we're just gonna keep moving. In 14 seconds, we're gonna hold this position. And if you're not feeling it, get lower, hinge further, stick out that butt, let's go. Seven seconds. Then our demi squat with our top of one foot side and diagonal back. Three, two, one, let's do it. Top side, diagonal back. Side, diagonal back. Ooh, that's a burn. Three, two, one, switch sides. Side, diagonal back. That I think just above the ankles is worse. Five seconds, so we get more power when it's up higher. Three, two, one, rest. Now we will take it up a little bit higher for that squat sequence. Just above your knees, we're doing a squat, four pulses at the bottom, four knees out. Then we'll go into, oh, you down here? No, you might not go. 
Then we're gonna go into side steps. Let's do it. Pulse, two, three, four, knees out. Two, and that one's a little slower. Three, four, take it up, back down. Pulse, two, three, four, knees out. Make sure you maintain that form, even on those pulses, even on those knees out. Keep going, I'm gonna show you from the side. So as I come down, nice and neutral spine, even on the pulses, and I hold that position while I do those knees out. In seven seconds, we're going into our squat side steps. In three, two, one, step it side to side. So stay in that squat. This is only 20 seconds, and I want you to cover some distance. Give me a big step, bite that band, make those legs work. You're already way more than halfway through this whole circuit. Five more seconds. Three, two, one, rest. All right, we're coming down on hands and knees. So we start off with those fire hydrants, alternating one leg, then the next, and then we go into the seated squats where the feet are close together, the knees are apart, we squeeze the glutes like crazy to press up and down. Hands and knees in three, two, one, let's go. One leg, then the next. Keep that core nice and strong. Protect that back. Everything stays as still as possible. Just the leg is moving. You've already been through 15 minutes of this circuit. You have a little over nine minutes to go, including rest. We are close. Feel those glutes. And remember, the foot is traveling with the knee. In five, three, Two, one, feet together, knees apart. Squeeze and press up. Let's go. Come on, push those hips forward. Make those glutes work for it. We're here for 30 seconds. We've already done 15 of it. 15 down, 15 to go. In 10 seconds, you get to rest. Five more seconds, give me a couple more. Three, two, one, rest. So this is the one I'm gonna sit out. So you're gonna do super bands, laying flat on your stomach, lifting your arms and legs off, fighting the band apart, legs out and in four times, then lay flat. And then we go into that plank and you jump or step your feet out in it. Three, two, one, lay flat, lift arms and legs off, legs go out and in, four times, fight that band, get it, stretch it, four times. Once you get through that fourth rep, then you can lay flat just to come back up and do it again. You're there for 40 seconds. Get through that combo as many times as you can in that 40 seconds. You're halfway there. In 20 seconds, we're pressing up into that plank for our plank jacks. We can do jumping the legs out and in. We can step it. You can just hold that plank if the jumping's too much. You can do a plank on your knees. You make it work for you. Seven more seconds here with the Supermans. In five, three, two, one, press up into that plank, jump or step your legs out and in, out and in, maintaining that plank the whole time. Let's go, strong core up from the pelvic floor into the spine, getting that cardio and that core together. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. Whew. Okay, take off that band. We have one more round to get through. So you've got 30 seconds of rest, and then we're back to that plie one more time. Here's what's happening here. Um, shorter rest the whole way through, okay? So that transition time is gonna be quick. We're gonna hustle through it. You still have 12 more seconds, so just breathe, relax, chill. And then let's grab that dumbbell in seven minutes. Low body is done. Goblet style or hold it down, nice wide stance. Here we go, three, two, one. One heel off, down and up. Let's go inner thighs, let's go glutes. We're almost done. Almost ready to leave those legs behind. Tiny little shoulder and back finisher. Then you're done. So let's see what you have left in that tank. Five more seconds and we stay on one side. Three, two, one. Stay on one side, pulse it out. Five more seconds, then we go up and over to the other side. Three, two, one, switch sides. Little pulses. In five seconds, both heels down, regular plies. Three, two, one, all the way up. Both heels stay on the floor. Regular plie, so we're not lifting that heel off anymore. Oh my gosh, those inner thighs are feeling it. 10 more seconds. In seven, 
in five, three, two, one, rest. Quick rest. I'm gonna leave my dumbbell just to make sure my back stays good. You guys keep going with your dumbbell, stepping outside lunges in three, two, one, opposite dumbbell to foot, big step out, hinging at the hips. I'll show you from the side. So we come over, nice flat back, sending the hips back towards the wall behind you. You are coming all the way down, taking that dumbbell as close to that opposite foot as you can. We are more than halfway through it. In 12 seconds, we stay wide, we get low, and we stay low for those hard side lunges. In seven, in five, three, two, one, get low. Stay low as you shift side to side. So hardest is with that dumbbell, a little bit easier without, a little bit easier if you brace the hands. Takes off a little bit of pressure on those inner thighs, whatever works for you. Five more seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. Let's get that band on. Let's do the same thing. So just above the ankles, we have monster walks and those foot taps. Find that position into the back of the mat or the back of the room. In three, two, one, little bend, little hinge. Fight that band apart. You know we're not letting those legs come in closer together. Keep that distance. Forward and backwards. Whatever ground you have to cover. We're here for 40 seconds and we want it to burn for all 40. We're more than halfway there. 18 seconds to go. Then we hold this position, this little demi squat, this little bend. Then we do our taps to the side and to the diagonal back. Whatever foot you're starting with in seven, in five, in three, two, one, side, diagonal back. It's only 10 seconds, you got it. Side, diagonal back, keep tall. Side, diagonal back, switch sides. Side, diagonal back. Come on, what I mean by side is we're still bent, but I'm not like leaning over this way. I'm not like hunched, my upper body's upright. And rest, bring that band up above those knees. Oh, last few minutes, we got it. Squats with four pulses, four knees out in three, two, one. Pulse, two, three, four, knees out. Two, fight it, three, four, then you can come back up just to come back down. Pulse, two, three, four, how low can you go? We know the drill, it's only 40 seconds, we're halfway there, 20 down, 20 to go. Pulse, two, three, four, knees out, two, Three, four, 10 more seconds on our squat side steps. Pulse, two, three, four, come on. All the way until the end. In three, two, one, and squat side steps. Let's go. Find that band. How are those other glutes feeling? They should have a nice, healthy fire going in them. 10 seconds down, 10 to go. You're already 22 minutes deep into this low body circuit. This is the last little over two minutes, okay? So stick with it. We got three, two, one, rest. Keep that band on just above your knees, alternating fire hydrants, hands and knees in five. Three, two, one, lift that knee and foot together. Let's go. Come on. 10 seconds down, 20 to go. Next up is gonna be our seated squats. So we're gonna sit down on our feet, which are together. Our knees are gonna be out to the sides. We're gonna squeeze those glutes like crazy. We've got 10 more seconds left here. I'm sweating. Things are happening. In seven, in five, three, two, one. Get into that seated squat position. Let's do it. We only have one more section to get through after this. Those two last moves of your Supermans and your plank jacks. Then legs are totally done, guys. That's it, 12 more seconds here. Squeeze those glutes together, push those hips forward. Come on, we got eight. How many can we squeeze in in the last five seconds? I know you've got at least two left, maybe three of your speed. Three, two, one, and rest. All right, on your belly, 
lay flat, get ready to come up into that Superman for four legs out in three, two, one, up, legs out, two, three, four, then lay down, then come back up, do it again, fight that band on those legs out and keep those legs and those arms off that mat until you finish that fourth rep, then you can lay back down. You're flying. 20 seconds is gone already. 20 seconds to go. We only have one move left after this. In 15 seconds, plank jacks. So we're going to press up onto our hands and our toes in 10 more seconds. Let's see if we can get through that combo at least one more time. Seven seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Press up into that plank. Jump or step your legs out and in. If you're stepping one leg at a time, wider, bring it in. Keep those hip bones facing the floor. Maintain that plank. That's the most important thing. If our plank is suffering, take away the jump. Just focus on that plank. Five, four, three, two, one. Rest. Awesome job. We are not going to rest long. We got to keep it moving. We are going into our shoulder and back finisher. So if you can, stick with the weight you have like you're 15, you're 20, whatever you're using. If you need to drop it down a little bit, drop it down. I've got a 10 over here. We are gonna do 15 reps of three moves. One, do one side, then the other side. Then 12 reps, then 10, then eight, then we're done. Moves are overhead press, palms forward, bench over row, palm faces in, same leg of the working arm is back. Okay, you can hold onto a wall or a bench or just your leg, then both hands, forward, raise, and down. We do the same thing on the other side. Boom, 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 boom. Then we rest, we drop it down, okay? So 15 reps, you can always drop your weight. So if you're feeling fresh, if you're feeling good, start heavier, drop it lighter if you need to. In three, two, one, 15 overhead presses. One, let's try to do it together. Two, not too fast, not too slow. Three, four, stay tall, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, all the way down and up. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Into our bent over row, same arm, big pull. One, two, three. Get that dumbbell up beside your chest. Four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. This is the longest of it all. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Let's do some forward raises. Shoulders down and back. One, keep that core tight. Two, don't let it swing. Three, there goes something. Four, up to shoulder height. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, almost there, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Other arm, overhead press. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Bent over ropes. They pull. One, two, all the way up and down. Three, get stronger in both directions. Four, five, nice flat back. Six, Seven, head and line to the spine. Eight, nine, lift with the back. 10, 11, squeeze those shoulder blades. 12, 13, 14, 15. Let's go forward, raise. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, almost there. 10, 11, 12, 
13, 14, 15. Oh, drop that weight, shake it out. We got some rest. Okay, so 15s are done. Next up is 12s. So you'll notice like the second arm we did burns more than the first because we did everything on this side, we shared the arms, and then this side, the original side, got to rest while we did the other arm where it worked, did the forward raises, right into its own work, right back to the forward raises. So this time I want you to reverse it, okay? So last time I started with my right arm, now I'm gonna start with my left arm. 12 reps, here we go. In three, two, one, one, two, three, four, five, sorry, I'm going a little fast, six, seven, eight, I want it done, <laughs> nine, 10, 11, 12, bent over rows, one, two, use the back, three, four, how's that form, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, into our forward raise, both hands, up to shoulder height, one, two, three, four, don't rush it, that usually means we're swinging, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Let's go overhead presses, other arm. One, two, three, four. This arm's fresh. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Let's pull. Row one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Forward raise both hands. One, two, no leaning, no arching, no swinging. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Drop that weight, 30 seconds to rest, then we're doing tens. So this time I'm going back to starting with my right arm. Shake them both out. So 10 overhead presses, bent over rows, forward raise, then on the other side, then our eights, then that's it. And stretch. So whew, let's finish off that upper body. We still have 10 seconds of rest. Back to the original arm. In five, three, two, one. Stay tall, stay strong. One, two, three. Four, five, don't rush it. Six, all the way up and down. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Bent over rows. One, two, big pulls. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Forward raise both hands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other arm overhead press. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
nine, 10, bent over rows. Ooh, my left arm's weaker. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Forward raise, both arms. One, two, three, four, five, shoulders down and back, check in, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, huh, drop that weight, you got 30 seconds, we have one more round to go, it's our eight, whew, even though, like, we want to get through it, it's rep-based, so we kind of like the urges to fly through those reps, Really, we want a quality, quality rest. So don't rush it, even though we're at the end here. I promise it'll be over soon, whether or not you shave like five seconds off your time. 10 seconds, I'm going to my second arm, starting with the other arm this time, eight overhead presses. Three, two, one, let's go weak side. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, bent over rows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, forward raise. One, two, three, four, Seven, eight, other arm overhead press. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, bent over rows. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, forward raise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and relax. Woo! All right, we're gonna come down on the floor. Oh, so long to get on the floor anyway. And let's actually stretch out our glutes first. So let's go into pigeon, whatever side is comfy for you, front knee bent, back leg straight. We'll get to the shoulders, trust me. But we did so much glute work at the beginning, so much inner thigh work, so much hip work. So let's stretch them out. That was our biggest circuit. That was like a good like 26 minute circuit. Switch sides, so slide that leg back, slide the other leg forward. I can get into position here. And you can always lay forward if that's comfier for you, even pre-pregnancy or when I'm not pregnant, I prefer to sit up to kind of use my body weight to push my hips down, but I know a lot of people feel to stretch better if they lay forward. Three, two, one, let's go into a frog stretch. So we're actually gonna take the knees and the feet way out to the side, like until you already feel a bit of a stretch and then push your butt and your hips back. So I'm coming down, I'm gonna show you from the side so you can see a little better. So I'm nice and wide like all fours. And then I kind of push my butt back and you can feel the inner thighs. If you can't feel it, I want you to walk your knees out a little bit further. And then come back up to all fours, hands and knees, reach under to the opposite side, press the back of the shoulder down into the mat. Feel that stretch in your shoulder, in your back. Stay there, sink into it. And then switch. Same thing, you can be on your hands. I'm just finding it comfier on my belly for some reason, my core maybe, to drop down to my forearms. As long as you feel the stretch, you're good. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. Come into child's pose. Press those hands into the floor. Rest your forehead. Feel that stretch in between your shoulder blades. Release that tension. No hips 
tightening. And let's walk the hands to one side so we can feel the opposite shoulder. Still trying to sit back and kind of release those hips, but feeling that shoulder and that back. Five more seconds, and we'll walk to the other side in three, two, one. Walk it on over, same thing on the other side. Find that stretch, melt into the floor. Stay there for five more seconds. In three, two, one. You can walk back to the center. One deep breath. Up to all fours, tuck the toes under, reach through the heels, nice downward dog stretch, feeling that stretch in your hamstrings, in your calves, your back. And then walk the hands and the feet together. Gentle bend in the knees, roll it on up. We are done. Thank you so much for sweating with me. I'll see you in the next one.